Renowned German director Akim Fryer has embarked on a three-year-long project in Seoul, the goal to stage one of the most challenging operatic works ever written, The Ring of Nibelung. Won jong han fills us in on what to expect from the Korean production of Wagner's epic. The Ring of the Nibelung was first performed in Seoul in 2005 as part of a world tour. But now Richard Wagner's 19th century masterpiece is being produced in South Korea for the first time. German painter, director and stage designer Achim Freyer is unveiling the show in South Korea on Wednesday evening at Seoul Art Center. The show depicts the fatal struggles of gods, men and mythical creatures to secure a magic ring that gives its owner the power to rule the world. The massive opera is divided into four parts and will be staged over a one and a half year period. The prelude opera The Rhine Gold will be performed this month, and the remaining three acts, The Valkyrie, Siegfried, and Twilight of the Gods, will in turn be staged in June and December next year and May 2020, respectively. Fryer has produced versions of the opera in Germany and the US, but he says the Korean version is different from his two previous productions. When I do a piece, I, it is very new and all is other, I cannot repeat. Why? Uh, we are in Korea and it's a total other situation and total other impressions. As a German citizen who has experienced the reality of national division, Fryer says he tweaked the original production by attempting to weave the politics of his own time into the Korean version. And to try to show an authentic image of peace and unification, the production's organizers say they are trying to invite North Korean singers to take part. We are currently in touch with Pyongyang through the North Korean embassy in Berlin. We couldn't cast North Korean singers for the first part of the performance since it overlapped with the 70th anniversary of the nation's founding. But we will keep trying as there are more years left for them to join our series. The first part of the opera will run until Sunday before a six-month preparation period to showcase the second part of the epic in June next year. Won Jong-an, Arirang News.